Magic happened on March the 6th, 1912, when two decoratively embossed chocolate-flavored wafers met up with a rich cream filling. The first Oreo cookie was sold in Hoboken, New Jersey, in a New York bakery, where Oreo was originally packaged in bulk tins and sold by weight. Enjoyed in more than 100 countries, today the Oreo brand is the world's top-selling cookie. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Bahrain, a 2,000-year-old pearl trading industry was at its peak, with traders coming from all over the world to buy the precious natural Bahraini pearls. This ancient industry built the foundations of the Bahraini economy and made Bahrain into the economic hub of the Gulf. Due to its rich and diverse history, Bahrain has always welcomed trade and business and continues to welcome foreign investors. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Mondelez on their second manufacturing facility in Bahrain. Today, we can truly celebrate the project from ocean to Orion. What started as an ocean a few years ago has today converted into producing Mondelez biscuit. This is a true commitment from the government of Bahrain and the Ministry of Industry and Commerce specifically towards its diversification policy away from natural resources like oil and gas. The new venture uh, means a significant amount to our manufacturing industry and to the FMCG efforts that we have in the country. Manufacturing is an important sector for the economy of Bahrain. represents represents about 15% of our GDP. It's second only to uh, financial services outside of the oil sector. Uh, and we see the presence of Mondelez in this new venture as having a multiplier effect on our economy, much like the first investment did. Um, we can see everything from transport and logistics to packaging to intermediate goods uh, obviously being built around this investment. And so it has a significant effect on the economy and our manufacturing sectors to be specific. Bahrain was selected because of its free economy ease of access and, uh, to the GCC in terms of supply chain and crossing to all the GCC through Causeway and the uh, free trade uh, agreement with the uh, United States of America. We as a small country have the shortest transit times between our airport, our port and our causeway and in the last year we've been able to reduce the transit time with Mondelez by 75% ensuring that within 48 hours your goods can reach pretty much 75% of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Effectively, Bahrain work environment also was so uh, interactive and uh, enabled us to attract highly qualified calibers from the local Bahraini well-educated workforce. Three years, 110,000 tons of sand and 2.7 million square feet. Mondelez Bahrain biscuits began as an idea. We start from like a zero, we have no land, we have uh, oceans here, and then we have to convert this one ocean to Oreo. The process of the reclamation was doing very fast, like within 100 days, the 2.7 million square feet have been completed. We have made more than 400 pilings, the depth of this one from 12 meters to 20 meters depth to hold the structure of this PIC. So the plant we're starting today, uh, we name it BIC. The reason we're, why the plant was named is actually we're setting up the highest level of technology for biscuit manufacturing and cake manufacturing out of Bahrain and putting the highest qualified team in the region to run up this plant to reach the highest level of consumer-inspired quality. So as you move around the plant, you will find not only in our laboratories the latest technology of lab testing equipment, but also on the lines you will find special tools and, uh, and testing methods that are well advised to reach the best quality that you can really taste in the Oreo that you taste today. Results are very clear. In the first quarter, we reached 13 countries sourcing from this plant, and I believe by the end of the year, we're reaching 20 uh, countries. I am Bahraini and I'm very happy and I'm very proud to have such big companies in my country. So the expansion that we are having today in our Oreo new plant in Bahrain is only happening because of a great partnership with the Bahraini government and uh, that, can, that could be seen clearly in the supply chain uh, improvement across the causeway in the last few years. Now we have 350 local suppliers in Bahrain with beyond 12,000 indirect employees uh, working for Mondelez in our supplier's side. 
I want to take this opportunity to really thank the Bahrain government and the, its entities that has enabled this success story to continue and uh, to grow further. And last but not least, I want to really thank my team in Mondelez Bahrain Biscuits, this team that made the impossible possible. And uh, we always say one team, one dream. Thank you.